Introduction. Good morning, students. Good morning, teacher. Today we will learn biotechnology and its application. It sounds interesting, teacher. Yes. So who will tell me what is biotechnology? Ah, uh, it is the use of microorganisms such as bacteria to perform specific industrial process. Well said, Ritu. Can anybody tell me what are the processes for which biotechnology is used? There are many processes for which biotechnology is used, such as gene transfer for identifying diseases, etc. Very good, Pratik. Let's study it in detail. In this lesson, you will learn biotechnology and its application. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to. Explain biotechnological applications in agriculture. Explain biotechnological applications in medicine. Explain gene therapy. Describe molecular diagnosis. Explain transgenic animals and their applications. Discuss ethical issues. Biotechnological Applications in Agriculture Biotechnology is broadly defined as any technique that uses live organisms such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, yeast, animal cells, plant cells, etc. to make or modify a product to improve plants or animals for specific uses. Biotechnology in Agriculture is an effective way by which Crops that perform better in a changing environment can be designed. Some of these involve development of pest resistant, herbicide resistant, drought resistant, saline tolerant, heat resistant crops. When a gene from one organism is purposely moved to improve or change another organism in a laboratory, the result is a genetically modified organism, GMO. Uses of Genetically Modified Organisms Genetically modified plants can be useful in many ways. Less pesticide is needed to be used due to insect pest resistant plants. More economically friendly as pesticides do not go into the air, soil and water. Higher crop yields Genetically modified crops can also be made to include vitamins that may be lacking in some staple varieties. Biotechnological Applications in Agriculture Bt Cotton The cry proteins produced by Bacillus thuringiensis are effective bioinsecticides against different insect pests. Crytoxins are produced as protoxins activated in larval gut lumen. The toxins bind to receptors that induce oligomerization and insertion into the membrane forming ionic pores that kill the cells and the larva. Pest-resistant plant Pest-resistant plants Insect attack is a serious agricultural problem leading to yield losses and reduced product quality. Insects can cause damage both in the field and during storage in silos. Each year, insects destroy about 25% of food crops worldwide. Silencing specific genes by RNA interference is a desirable natural solution to this problem. Double-stranded RNA-mediated interference, RNAI, is a simple and rapid method of silencing gene expression in a range of organisms. The silencing of a gene is a consequence of degradation of RNA into short RNAs that activate ribonucleases to target homologous mRNA.
Biotechnological Applications in Medicine Genetically Engineered Insulin Insulin is a hormone that is produced by the pancreas and that regulates the level of glucose. Insulin is composed of two polypeptide chains that are chain A and chain B that are linked together by disulfide bridges. In beta cells, insulin is synthesized from the pro-insulin precursor molecule by the action of proteolytic enzymes known as prohormone convertases as well as exoprotease carboxypeptidase E. These modifications of proinsulin remove the center portion of the molecule that is C-peptide from the C and N-terminal ends of proinsulin. The remaining polypeptides, the B and A chains, are bound together by disulfide bonds. The C-peptide is not present in the mature insulin. Gene Therapy The introduction of normal genes into cells in place of missing or defective ones in order to correct genetic disorders is called gene therapy. To get a new gene into a cell's genome, it must be carried in a molecule called a vector. The most common vectors currently being used are viruses, which naturally invade cells and insert their genetic material into that cell's genome. To use a virus as a vector, the virus' own genes are removed and replaced with a new gene destined for the cell. When the virus attacks the cell, it will insert the genetic material it carries. A successful transfer will result in the target cell now carrying the new gene that will correct the problem caused by the faulty chain. Viruses that can be used as vectors include retroviruses like HIV, adenoviruses, adeno-associated viruses and herpes simplex viruses. Molecular Diagnosis The process of identifying diseases by studying molecules such as proteins, DNA, RNA in a tissue or fluid is called molecular diagnosis. Molecular diagnosis and therapy brings advances in detection, monitoring and treatment of the molecular causes of disease. Use of biomarkers to guide drug development and target medicines towards specific populations. Genetic variations affecting drug response, drug metabolism, adverse effects and or disease progression. Development and clinical use of drug diagnostic combinations. Emerging pharmacogenomic and molecular diagnostic technologies. Regulatory issues in diagnostics and personalized medicine. Transgenic animals The animals in which genetic characteristics have been altered by the insertion of a modified gene or a gene from another organism using the techniques of genetic engineering are called transgenic animals. The common reason for producing transgenic animals are Some transgenic animals are produced for specific economic traits. For example, Transgenic cattle were created to produce milk containing particular human proteins which may help in the treatment of human emphysema. For example, Harvard scientists made a major scientific breakthrough for a genetically engineered mouse called Oncomouse or the Harvard mouse carrying a gene that promotes the development of various human cancers.
applications of transgenic animals. The benefits of these animals to human welfare can be grouped into areas agriculture, medicine, industry. Agricultural applications breeding. Traditional breeding is a time consuming, difficult task. Using biotechnology, it became possible to develop traits in animals in a shorter time and with more precision. In addition, it offers the farmer an easy way to increase yields. Quality Transgenic cows produce more milk or milk with less lactose or cholesterol, pigs and cattle that have more meat on them and sheep that grow more wool. Disease Resistance Scientists are attempting to produce disease-resistant animals such as influenza-resistant pigs, but a very limited number of genes are currently known to be responsible for resistance to diseases in farm animals. Medical Applications Xenotransplantation Transgenic pigs may provide the transplant organs needed to alleviate the shortfall. Nutritional supplements and pharmaceuticals Products such as insulin, growth hormone and blood anti-clotting factors may soon be or have already been obtained from the milk of transgenic cows, sheep or goats. Human Gene Therapy Human gene therapy involves adding a normal copy of a gene to the genome of a person carrying defective copies of the gene. The potential for treatments of the 5,000 named genetic diseases is huge and transgenic animals could play a role. Industrial Applications Industrial Applications In 2001, two scientists at Nexia Biotechnologies in Canada spliced spider genes into the cells of lactating goats. The goats began to manufacture silk along with their milk and secrete tiny silk strands from their body by the bucketful. By extracting polymer strands from the milk and weaving them into thread, the scientists can create a light, tough, flexible material that could be used in such applications as military uniforms, medical micro sutures, and tennis racket strings. Ethical Issues Genetic modification of organisms can have unpredictable, undesirable effects when such organisms are introduced into the ecosystem. The modification and use of such organisms for public services has also resulted in problems with the granting of patents. Hence, the Indian government has set up organizations which are authorized to make decisions regarding the validity of genetic modifications and the safety of introducing genetically modified organisms for public services. One such organization is the Genetic Engineering Approval Committee, GEAC. India produced 93 million tons of rice in 2001 and 2002 and the government is targeting 129 million tons by 2011 and 2012. Biopiracy Biopiracy is the practice of commercially exploiting naturally occurring biochemical or genetic material, especially by obtaining patents that restrict its future use while failing to pay fair compensation to the community from which it originates. Basmati rice grown in India is distinct for its unique flavor and aroma, 
but an American company got patent rights on Basmati through the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. The new variety of Basmati has been developed by this company by crossing an Indian variety with the semi-dwarf varieties. Did you know? U.S. researchers have developed a system triggered by blue light that can seek out and turn on or off any desired gene which could be useful for research in biotechnology and in medicine. This is the first time specific sections of DNA have been turned on and off. They also report tuning the level of gene expression using the intensity of the light in their paper published in the Journal of the American Chemical Society. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Biotechnology is broadly defined as any technique that uses life organisms such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, yeast, animal cells, plant cells, etc. to make or modify a product to improve plants or animals for specific uses. Silencing specific genes by RNA interference is a desirable natural solution to the problem of insect attack. The introduction of normal genes into cells in place of missing or defective ones in order to correct genetic disorders is called gene therapy. The process of identifying diseases by studying molecules such as proteins, DNA, RNA in a tissue or fluid is called molecular diagnosis. The animals in which genetic characteristics have been altered by the insertion of a modified gene or a gene from another organism using the techniques of genetic engineering are called transgenic animals. The Indian government has set up organizations which are authorized to make decisions regarding the validity of genetic modifications and the safety of introducing genetically modified organisms for public services. Biopiracy is the practice of commercially exploiting naturally occurring biochemical or genetic material, especially by obtaining patents that restrict its future use while failing to pay fair compensation to the community from which it originates.